Hi everyone! Today we will start building our PL statement. We will be focused on the revenues. This playlist is about how you can build PL statement dashboard from scratch for a healthcare business. Let's assume we have a network of hospitals and we need to build a consolidated profit and loss statement for each of these hospitals separately and for all of them gathered in one income statement. All our data is imaginary. All files that I used here are public. I also changed the names and values inside PL rows. So, what are the assumptions? Assumption 1 You are a business owner. Assumption 2 You need to create the reporting environment that will show you the structure of the revenues and expenses of your business by specific criteria. For example, office location, country, city, zip code, region profit center, manager, or anything else. Assumption number three. Every week or month, you have to upload a new portion of the revenues and expenses transactions into the reporting environment to be able to see the trends for your business. Assumption number four. You don't have financial analyst or SQL engineer or data architect in your team. And final assumption number five. You have just basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If all of that is about you, this video and playlist and the whole channel is for you. You will find lots of interesting and useful things here. Hit the subscribe button. My name is Peter Pakulski and welcome to our channel. This channel is for the business owners who want to know more about their business. Here we will be building an interactive reporting environment from scratch. I will be making different assumptions while building our dashboard and then we will bring them to life together. All the tutorial links are placed down below in the description. Dataset will also be in the description. Links on other tutorials are placed in the description as well. If you find value in my content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order building Excel decision-making tools for your business, Power BI dashboards and other financial models. Our PL statement will be living inside a matrix table. Let's create it. Click Matrix Table. If we go back to our Excel template for a second, we will see that our revenues consist of four types. Emergency, Surgery, Drugs and Rehab. Previously, We've created total measures for each of these categories. They are living inside the measures table here. Now let's drag our revenues measures to the values area. Now we need to transpose our values from left to right to from top to the bottom. To do that, let's go to the format your visual. There we need to find values. Then we are going to options. In options, let's transpose values to rows. Now let's work on style a bit. Let's go to the format your visual. Then layout and style presets. In style. Let's select Minimal. Now let's get rid of blue lines. Go into Grid, Border, we can do it here. What we can do else? We can make the corners rounded for our income statement. We completely forgot to name our table. Let's go to General, Title. In Text Area, let's place the name for our table, Income Statement or Profit and Loss Statement, the way you want, up to you. We can make the title bold. And also, we can set up the color for the font. I will pick it up from my Colors table.
what we can do else. We can increase the font size to 18, for example. Now let's add a row on the top. This row will be saying that we are currently inside the revenues. For that, let's create an empty revenues measure. Let's click new measure. We will name it revenues title. In formula area, we will type nothing, it will be empty. Click enter. We need to place this measure into the measures table. Here it is. Now let's add empty revenues measure to the top of our table. Let's drag it here. Now let's look at our template in Excel. Our revenues consist of two main parts, hospital itself and services and medications. If we dive deeper, hospital revenues consist of emergency and surgery. Services and medications are formed by drugs and rehab. Let's create and add empty measures for the hospital revenues and services and medications to our income statement. Now let's go back again to our Excel file. Here we can see that we need three more measures for totals. Totals for the hospital revenues, totals for the services and medications, and totals for the whole revenues. Let's create these measures one by one. We will be starting with hospital revenues. In this formula, we will be using only measures that we've previously created during our previous tutorials. All the tutorial links are placed down below in the description. Now let's add this measure to our profit and loss statement.
the same story with revenues from services and medications, creating a new measure for that. Drug revenues and rehab revenues. And finally, let's create revenues totals that will consist of hospital revenues totals plus services and medications revenues totals. Now, let's add a bit of the color to our revenues. Let's go to Format your visual. Here, we need to find specific column. Here we can select measure by measure and assign colors. Starting with revenues title. Now let's add colors to hospital revenues lines and services and medications line. Now adding color to the revenues totals. What we can do else, we can add colors to the hospital title and services and medications title.
to improve the readability of our income statement, let's rename the measures that participate in our matrix table. Plus, we can add different spacing to the PNL lines for the categories and subcategories, going to column headers and switching off text wrap. If you find value in my content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order Building Excel decision making tools for your business, Power BI dashboards and other financial models. Thanks for watching, see you next tutorials and follow us for more.